We're doing something really exciting and new in this programme. What we're doing here is to bring together holistically the natural sciences with the social and the political sciences so that students get a breadth of perspectives on the topic of climate change. We're really starting with the challenge, both the problem of understanding the causes of climate change, but also trying to understand what solutions are going to work in different contexts. Well, we are looking at potential candidates who are from a range of backgrounds, both in terms of disciplinary background, but also in terms of perspectives and experiences. So the structure of the course is designed to give students a landing pad in the first semester. So there will be core modules covering the physical and natural sciences elements of climate change and covering the social basis of climate change. And this will really help students who are coming in from diverse backgrounds to gain a strong core knowledge base that will feed into their second semester. They'll have the opportunity to take modules in climate risk, climate justice, climate security and climate and development. So Leeds is famous for its climate science and its climate scientists. And we have one of the biggest collections of climate scientists in the world. But we also have a growing number of social scientists and political scientists who are experts in the politics of climate change and the social dimensions of it. I've got involved in the International Government Report called the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Report. And I also sit on this country's climate change committee, which is quite a political job. Fieldwork will have a really important role in terms of enabling students to put their learning into action. So Garewood is a, a new woodland in the north of Leeds. Through the Masters in, in Climate Futures, students will have the opportunity to visit Garewoods, but also to undertake capstone projects that actually really take a deep dive into the issues surrounding the use of land for nature-based solutions as, a, as an approach to tackling climate change. We also have a university farm. We're looking at ways to use that as a living lab for our students to look at different types of energy systems as well for agriculture. There are a tremendous number of careers available to the graduates of, of Climate Futures. That might be within governmental organisations, it might be the civil service, it might be working for charity, it might be private business looking at reducing carbon footprint. We believe that there is a role for everybody in the climate movement, it's just about finding the right fit. My advice to anybody applying for this course is be ready for a challenge. No matter what your background is, you're likely to be learning something that you have never come across before.